Here we have been told to evaluate the limit as x tends to 4 of 1 out of x minus 1 out of 4 divided by x minus 4. So when I put in, uh, I substitute in x minus 4, this thing becomes 0 and the whole limit goes to infinity. Well, it doesn't make sense. So I need to do some uh, manipulations and make sure that I avoid that situation when the whole thing is going to infinity. So let's move. I'm going to have 1 out of x first of all minus 4. Let me first deal with this function divided by x minus 4. Now, if I multiply by 4x up and down, I'll have not changed anything because I can still cancel the 4x out of 4x and that's gone. I go back to this. So, but when I bring it in here, this becomes 4x divided by x minus 4x divided by 4. Everything divided by x minus 4 into 4x. Now, this obviously changes the whole thing. I will be having 4x divided by x, which becomes 4, minus 4x divided by 4, which becomes um, minus x. So this becomes 4 minus x divided by x minus 4 into 4x, which obviously is showing me some relationship uh, between the numerator and the denominator. So what does that call for? Um, this x minus 4 is the same as negative of... Mr. Um, yes, please. The way you put out that... So now, I have already the 4 minus x out of, after cancelling the x and x, the 4 and 4. So now, this 4 minus x is the same as if I had negative x minus 4. So this is what I have divided by what is down is remaining the same into 4x. So remember this is getting to 4. So that means I can cancel this x minus 4 out of x minus 4. So what do I do? I cancel this and that. So this becomes negative 1 out of 4x. So I come to my uh, function and say limit as x tends to 4 of uh, the function which was 1 out of x minus 1 out of 4 divided by x x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 will equal to limit as x tends to 4 of negative 1 out of 4x. And this is the same as negative 1 out of 4 times 4, which becomes negative 1 out of 6. So you can see, if you had just put in if x is equal to 4, the whole thing would become infinity, and then you will be as if you don't have a limit. But you can see, when you do that manipulation, you get you get your limit equal to negative 1 out of 16. Now let's try this other number also and see what it becomes. So when I look at this is also like a modulus function, the x minus 7 taking its modulus is a, a modulus function, okay, that as we can see is not differentiable at x is equal to 7. Because when you look at it, when it reaches x is equal to 7, that one on the top only, it changes, it goes, um, uh, this other side we can see it would be, it would be positive, still the value of the function, this other side of, 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 of 7 would also be positive. So this uh, function is not differentiable at x is equal to 7. But let's try this limit and see what it becomes. Uh, the limit as x tends to 7, modulus of x minus 7 divided by x minus 7. 
So what we are going to do is to so we have limit as x tends to seven uh, modulus x minus seven divided by x minus seven. This is equal to now if you wanted to try it you can maybe put in some small values okay put in some small values if i put in uh, seven so if i substitute in seven this would be zero out of zero and this becomes also an indeterminate form so does it mean that we can't proceed we can now let's see substitute substitute um, x equal to x equal to negative 7 okay negative 7 negative like 6.9 okay if you put in uh, that value what would it be you would have limit as x tends to 7 <coughs> of negative let me say negative 6.7.9 yes the value which is close to 7 is what we are putting so this becomes negative 6.9 then minus 7, we take modulus of that value uh, divided by 6.9, which is negative, minus 7. Remember, there is no modulus here. So this becomes negative 13.9 divided, remember this is in modulus, divided by negative 13.9. This gives you negative 1. Okay, so now you can also try the other side. Try the other side. Uh, this is uh, we are approaching this value. We are approaching this value from the left. Okay, so this is approaching approaching x equal to seven approach x equal to 7 from the left. Now let's try and also and approach uh, x is equal to 7 from the right. So limit x as x tends to 7 from the, uh, from the right. Uh, we are going to put a value, put value like uh, 7.1 because if you are in a number line and this is 7, so if you approach it from this side, if this is 7, you can say this is 7.1. Okay? And um, yeah, so you can put in 7.1. So this is going to be uh, 7.1 plus, I mean, minus 7. Divided by 7.1 minus 7. So this is the modulus. Uh, this becomes uh, this becomes what? Uh, this is uh, negative. Okay, this is uh, okay. This is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1, and this is equal to 1. So you can see the left hand limit of this uh, of this x is equal to seven is not equal to the right hand limit of x is equal to seven or as x approaches seven. So what does that tell you? That the limit the limit does not exist. <laughs> so you have to be careful with the such numbers also. The limit does not exist. So whenever you find such such limits, 
you approach it in this way because uh, like here, this is not a conventional function that you can start manipulating it. Even if you try to multiply x plus 7 up, x plus 7 down, there is nothing that you're going to come up with. But what you can do is to get the values, okay? The values you're going to substitute in, but as you approach the value of uh, x from the left and from the right. So you can see that the limit does not exist.